For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used three skeins of Red Heart Super Saver in oatmeal, as for tools, a 5 and a 6.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using three stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain, slip stitch, single crochet, and half double crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting started on this top, we are first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we are going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that we want for our collar. And I do want my collar to be able to sit on my shoulders and off at the same time, so my collar is going to be just a little bit longer. I'm going to start off by making a chain of 110 or that comes out to 29 inches or 74 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, what we are going to do from here is go in with a row of single crochets, but we are going to need to connect it and make a circle first. So all we're going to do is run our thumb along one side of our chain, making sure that it's not twisted. And then once we make our way all the way down to the end, we're going to slip stitch into that first chain. So once when we have made our way all the way down, we're gonna insert our hook into that first chain. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And once we have that, we are ready to go in with our first row, so we're going to do a chain up of one, and then we're gonna go into every chain that we have, putting one single crochet into each of them. So insert your hook, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do one more, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. And keep putting one single crochet into every chain that we have going all the way around, slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we just made for ourselves and then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on row two. So we are back and we have just made our way all the way brown with our row number one, putting one single crochet into every chain that we had and right before we go in with row number two we're going to have to insert some stitch markers into some spots. So the first thing we're going to do is find the middle point from where our hook is into our work and I've inserted my first stitch marker into the 55th loop and then from our hook to this stitch marker that we just inserted, we're going to want to find that halfway point as well. So if you guys are counting from the hook in both directions, I inserted my stitch markers into the 28th loops. And then from here, we're gonna go in with a row of back loop single crochets, while doing an increase of two into these two side stitch markers. So let's get that started off together. So getting started on our next row, we're going to do a chain up of one. And into this first back loop, we're going to insert our hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Let's do the next one together as well. Insert into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're just gonna keep doing this going all the way down until we hit our first side stitch marker. So we have just made our way across over to our first side stitch marker. So I will be taking these guys out and going in with an increase of two back loop single crochets. So into that stitch, I'm gonna go in with one single crochet, making sure we're going into the back loop. And then one more, making sure we are also going into that same back loop we just did our previous single crochet in. And I will be inserting my stitch marker into each of these stitches so I know that I have two, one for the front panel and one for the back panel when we are ready to go in with those. And then from here, we're going to go all the way across going past this middle stitch marker because this is the middle of our front panel all the way over to our next side stitch marker, do the same thing, an increase of two back loop single crochets, and then go back down with back loop single crochets. Once when we make it to the end, do a slip stitch into that chain up of one space, chain up of one and cut, and then we can go in with our body portion. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the first two rows when it comes to our collar and we are actually all done with this. So we did a chain up of one and cut and we can set this off to the side and then we're gonna get started on the body portion next. So getting started on the body portion, what we're going to do is first start off by doing some measuring. The first place that we're gonna to want to measure is from mid chest down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. And I have already measured mine out and I want mine to be a total of 13 inches or 34 centimeters. So I'm gonna be taking my same category four yarn, making a slip knot. I'm going to be switching out to my six and a half millimeter hook. And I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 40. 
Now that we have our chain, what we're going to be doing from here is starting off by blocking off that last chain, and we're going to do a chain up of two that counts as a half double crochet. Once we have that, we are going to prepare for a half double crochet, and then into that stitch that we blocked off, or the third stitch from our hook, we're going to go in with a half double. So let's do that together one more time. We're going to prepare for a half double, go into that next chain, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and from here we're going to yarn over it and pull through all three loops. And we're going to keep putting one half double crochet into every stitch that we have going all the way down until we hit our last chain and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do an increase of two half double crochets. Now that we have made our way all the way down with our first row of half double crochets, we have left our last chain and we're going to do an increase of two half double crochets into there together. So we're going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that last chain with one half double, prepare for another, go into that last chain again with a, another half double crochet. And that is our increase. And from here we're going to be alternating between that and a back loop single crochet row. So we're going to do a chain up of one and flip our work. But since we have increased into here, we're going to maintain an increase into this side. So into this first back loop, we're going to insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That is one single crochet. We're going to go in with one more into that same back loop. So pull through, pull through two. Now we have two stitches in that first back loop. And then from here, go ahead and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch going all the way down. And then once we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, just like how we started off our first row, flip our work, and then go back down with back loop half double crochets. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row just to remind you guys. All right, so we've just made our way down with our second row for our underarm portion, and we went all the way down with our back loop single crochets. So we're going to alternate to a back loop half double. So we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that first back loop, Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And go ahead and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch that we have, going all the way down until we hit that last stitch. Once we get to that last one, do an increase of two back loop half double crochets. And then once we make our way down to this last stitch, we're going to do an increase of two back loop half double crochets into that last stitch. And then from there, we're going to make a chain that is going to go up to our shoulder and that is going to lead to our spill over shoulder portion. So I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so we're back with our three rows, and now once we have this, we can now go into our shoulder portion. So from here, we're going to want to put this up to ourselves, and then we're gonna measure from the tip of where we're currently at, going all the way up to the top of our shoulder. And I have already measured mine out, so I'm gonna start off by making a chain of 20, or that comes out to seven inches or 18 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, what we're gonna do from here is block off that last chain, and we are all gonna go in with a chain up of one because the last row that we just did was a row of back loop half double crochets. And then from here, we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook with a single crochet. And from here, we're gonna be putting one single crochet into every stitch that we have going down our chain. And then once we make our way back down to the body portion that we just finished up, we're going to continue going in with back loop single crochets. So I'll meet you guys back once we make our way down there. And now that we have made our way down our chain with our single crochets, we are now at our body portion. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop with a back loop single crochet. And that's not a single crochet. And from here, we're going to insert our hook into every back loop, putting one single crochet into every stitch. And like before, we're going to be alternating between a back loop single and a back loop half double crochet. So once we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then bring it back down with a row of back loop half double crochets. And then we're going to work our way all the way up and then we're going to do another row of back loop single crochets and we're just going to keep alternating just like that until we get a spillover shoulder portion that we like so i'm actually going to keep going until i have a total of six inches so i'll meet you guys back once when i have this little solid chunk all finished up and also keep in mind that we need to meet each other back at the top so that we can connect it into the collar Okay, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our shoulder portion that is going to fall over our shoulder. That's why it's a little bit bigger than usual. But just to let you guys know from where we started all the way until where I ended, which is at the top of my shoulder portion, I have a total of 17 rows or that came out to six inches or 15 centimeters just for the shoulder portion or in total is seven inches or 18 centimeters. And once we have this, we are now ready to attach it into the collar. So let's go ahead and grab that, and then I'll show you guys how to do that right now. 
So taking a look at our collar, we should still have our stitch markers into those two stitches on either side of our chain up of one and cut so that we know what loop we're going to be inserting our hook into. And then we're just going to go straight across with the same type of rows that we just went in with. So what I'm going to be doing is taking out this first stitch marker right here. Make sure you don't lose track of it. I will be inserting my hook into that loop and then from here I'm going to yarn over and pull through everything. And then now that we have this, I'm going to be working in towards this direction which is the opposite of my second stitch marker and I will be going in with more back loop single and back loop half double crochets but we are going to be attaching it into the base so I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So going into the next row is going to be a row of back loop single crochets. So what we are going to do is slip stitch into the next available loop into our collar. So we are just going into this one. So we're going to slip stitch into this next one, yarn over, pull through. We're going to flip our work and now we're going to work our way back down our body portion with back loop single crochets. So we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop and single crochet and keep doing this going all the way down. The end is going to be the same. So do a chain up of two, flip our work and then bring our work back down. And then I'll meet you guys one more time so I can show you guys how we're going to attach it into the base again. All right, so we have just made our way down with our back loop half double crochet row, and now we are ready to attach it into the base just one more time. So how we're gonna do this is count up the next two available stitches that we have into the base to close off this back loop half double crochet row. And then once we have that, we are gonna be slip stitching up just one stitch because our next row is a row of back loop single crochets. So we will be flipping our work from here and then going into every stitch with a back loop single crochet. Once we get to the end, just like before, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then do back loop half double crochets. And then we're gonna attach it into the base the same way that we just did about two seconds ago. And then we're just gonna keep going back and forth like that until we hit our next stitch marker that we have on the other side. And then I will meet you guys back once we get to that stitch marker so that we can go in with the rest of our piece. Okay, so I am back and I have just finished up going in with my back loop singles and back loop half double crochet rows going all the way down until we hit our next stitch marker. And now we're just going to do one more overhang shoulder portion that we have just like how we had over here. And just as a refresher, if you guys are going in with the same amount of rows as me, from this first chain that I made all the way over to where we inserted it into the collar, I had a total of 14 rows. So I'm going to make the same 14 on this side. And for this portion, this is all going to be dependent on you guys. If you guys ended up here, our next row is going to be a row of back loop single crochets going down. Or if you guys ended on the bottom, then your next row is going to be a row of back loop half double crochets coming back up. Completely up to you guys. Just make sure that you guys end up with the same amount of rows that you guys have for the other side. And then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do our small underarm portion together. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our little shoulder portion right here that hangs over our shoulder and we are nearly done with our front panel. Now we just need to go in with our underarm portion, the same amount of rows that we did on the other side. So the first thing we're gonna do is first insert our stitch marker into the stitch where we're going to work our way all the way up and then start doing our decreases. So the easiest way to do it is taking a look at the other side and then remembering the chain amount that we made going up to our shoulder. Mine was a chain of 20. And then from here, from this top going all the way down, inserting your stitch marker into the 20th chain. And then we're going to work our way all the way up. And then I'll meet you guys once we get two stitches right before our stitch marker so that we can do a decrease together. Now we should have all ended along the bottom. If you guys didn't, go ahead and cut and tie and reattach your work onto the bottom. And then do the next row coming all the way up. And then I'll meet you guys back right about here. All right, so we just made our way all the way down with our first underarm portion on the other side. We have left two stitches right before we hit our stitch marker. And now we're gonna go in with our decrease. Now working our way up, we should have been doing back loop half double crochets, and we're going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets into these two stitches. So what we're gonna do is prepare for half double crochet, go into that second to last available stitch, making sure we're going in through that back loop. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yarn over, pull through, into that last available back loop, yarn over pull through we should have four stitches on our hook we're going to yarn over and pull through all four stitches and once when we have that our next row is going to be a row of back loop single crochet so we're going to do a chain up of one 
flip our work, and then we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets together. So getting started on our next row, our next row is going to be back loop singles, so let's start off with our decrease. Into this first back loop, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, from here we're going to yarn over, and pull through all three. And make your way all the way down, putting one back loop single crochet into every back loop that we have. Once we make our way down to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then bring it on back down, leaving the last two stitches. And then we're going to do one more decrease of two back loop half double crochets, just like how we did in the previous row. And then since we should have only had those three rows for our underarm portion, I'm going to do a chain up of one and cut, and then actually just repeat everything that we just did over here one more time for the back piece, and everything will be exactly the same. So once when I have my underarm portion and my shoulder portion and I'm ready to attach it into the collar for the back panel, I will meet you guys back just so that we can insert it into the same spot together. And then from there, just repeat everything else. So I'll meet you guys back in just a few rows. All right, so we are back and we are now ready to attach the shoulder portion onto the collar that we have. And the only tip that I have for you guys is to make sure that when you guys are attaching it, that the two sides that we have for our front and our back piece are sandwiched to each other. So what that means is that our back loop half double and back loop single crochets isn't reversible. It looks different from the front to the back. So as you guys can see, we're just gonna call this the front. It doesn't really matter, but we're gonna call this look the front. And then this one, which isn't as ribbed, is the back. So we're gonna wanna make sure that the front is with the front and the back is with the back. So how we're gonna do that is figure out what sides look the same and we're just going to sandwich those on top of each other and we're doing all that so that it's reversible and now we can attach it into the collar. So what we're going to do is take out this next stitch marker that we have, insert our hook into that stitch that we just took our stitch marker out of or the next available loop into the collar, yarn over, pull through everything with a slip stitch and now it is all attached. And then from here we are just going to repeat everything that we just did for the front panel onto the back panel, and then once we have that entire piece done, I'll meet you guys back. We are back and we have just finished up going in with our back panel. It looks exactly like the front, and from here we're actually just going to go in with our shoulder seam, but the first thing we're gonna have to do is switch out to our five millimeter hook because we want this to cinch in just a little bit. And then from here, we're just going to go all the way across the row of single crochets. So now that we have switched out our hook and we have flipped our work to the side that we want our seams to be showing, we are now ready to go in with our single crochet. So the first thing we are going to do is make sure that our hook is going in through the two loops, first into the front panel and next into the back panel, into those two loops that's right next to our collar. And from there, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook. We're going to pull through. And for this single crochet row along both of the tops of our shoulder portions that we're about to do, we're going to want to pull them a little bit tighter because we want that pull. So from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through, and let's go in with our first single crochet together. My next row that I'm gonna be going into is going to be a side single crochet row, and there's not gonna be any pretty loops for us to go into, so we're just gonna to have to eyeball it. So since this is my next row, I'm gonna be inserting my hook into the front panel, and then making sure we're going into the same loop that we have into the back panel. We're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, that's our single crochet, and then with our working yarn that we have on our hand, we're going to pull that just a little bit tighter. And we're going to continue doing that, going all the way down, but when it comes to going into our side half double crochets, we're gonna be putting two single crochets into there. So let's do the next one together. My next row is this side half double crochet, so I'm gonna insert my hook into that loop, and then into the same loop that we have on the other side, so the back panel, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull that nice and tight, and then we're gonna be putting one more into that next side half double crochet row. And this part should be a little bit easier since our first single crochet is already in there, so insert your hook into that same stitch, and then also into the same stitch into the back panel, single crochet, and pull tight. And we're gonna keep doing this until we hit the end. Once we hit the end, do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we just did here on the other side. All right, so we have just finished up seaming up both of our shoulder portions, and next we're going to go in with just our seam, but before we go in with that, we're gonna have to go in with a row of single crochets just to give us a little bit of a different detail. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into this bottom corner loop, insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. We're going to do a chain up of one to secure, and for this first row, we're going to be going around with a row of single crochets around the entirety of 
our side piece. So we're going to work our way up. Once we get to this section, we're going to go in with one single crochet into each of our side rows, up and over the shoulder portion. Once we get down here, same deal that we did over here, so one single crochet into each of our side rows, and then one single crochet into every stitch until we hit this corner, and then I will meet you guys back. Alright, so we have just made our way all the way around with our row of single crochets, and we just have one more row to go into right before we seam up our work. And this is just going to be a row of back loop single crochets, and we're doing that so it can match the collar. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of one, and then into this first back loop, we're going to go in with a single crochet. And we are going to keep doing this going all the way down. Once we make our way down to the other end, we're going to seam up our work together. Alright, so we have just made our way around with our single and our back loop single crochet rows, and then we're just going to seam our way all the way up. So we are going to do the same amount of seams as the same amount of chains that we started off with our underarm section. So if you guys remember, I started off this entire piece with a total of 40 chains. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going in with 40 single crochets going all the way up. And this is going to be the same way that we seamed up the shoulder portion. So let's just get the first few started off with each other. We are going to want to make sure that this seam that we're about to do and the shoulder seam is face the same direction. But once when all of that is figured out, we are going to be inserting our hook into the first available stitch into the front panel, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel. And then from here, we will be doing a yarn over and pulling through everything that was on our hook. And just to do the next one together, we're going to insert our hook into the next available loop into the front panel, and then into the next available loop into the back panel, and then single crochet. Go ahead and put one single crochet into every stitch that we have going all the way up and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can get started on the sleeve. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up seaming up the sides and next we can go in with our sleeve. So at this point you guys are going to want to try this on and then figure out how long we want our sleeves to be, keeping in mind that we will have a cuff as well. So I have already measured mine out and I want my sleeve to be a total of 10 inches or 28 centimeters. So from here, I'm going to start off by making a chain of 35. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two that counts as a half double. From here, we're going to prepare for a half double and then into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a half double. And we're just going to make our way all the way down our chain, putting one half double into every chain. And now that we have made our way all the way down with our half double crochet row, we are now going to attach it into the base. So all we're going to do from here is count up the next two available stitches. There's one, there's two. We're going to slip stitch into that second and now this row is all closed off. And then once we have that, we are going to need to slip stitch up just one more in order to work our way up to our next back loop single crochet row. Once we have done that, we are going to flip our work. And then make our way all the way down, putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we make it to the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then come back down with back loop half double crochets, and then connect it into the base the same way that we just did. We're actually going to keep doing that going all the way around, and then I'll meet you guys back once we don't have any more loops left to go into so that we can seam it all up together. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our sleeve, and now we're just going to seam this up, and then we can start working on the cuff. So the seam is going to be exactly the same way that we've done all the other seams. So we're just going to do the first one together. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that all of our seams are facing the same direction. If yours isn't, go ahead and flip your work inside out. And then from here, we're going to be inserting our hook into the first available loop into the front panel. And then into the next available loop into the back panel. And then single crochet. And then keep seaming going all the way down. I'll meet you guys back at the end. If you guys are actually going the opposite direction, that's completely fine. Go ahead and make your way down here, do a chain up of one and cut, and then reattach your yarn on this end. Alright, so we have just seamed our way all the way down our sleeve, and we are ready to get started on the cuff. So the first thing we're going to have to do is clean it up a little bit so that we can go in with our cuff. So what we're going to do is just go in with a single crochet row going all the way around, just putting one single crochet into each of our side rows. So my first side row that I have right here is a side half double. We're just going to go in with one single crochet. Next is a side single, one single crochet, and keep doing this going all the way around. Once we make our way down to the end, we are going to slip stitch into that first chain up of one space that we made, and then we're going to go in with the length of our cuff. 
All right, so we have now just single crocheted around the entirety of the base of our sleeve, and now we can go in with our cuff. And from here, go ahead and figure out how long you guys want your cuff to be. I want mine to be about four inches or 10 centimeters. So I will be starting off by making a chain of 15. And now that we have our chain, we are going to be blocking off that last chain. Do a chain up of one and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook. Go ahead and go in with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one together. We're going to insert our hook into that next chain, yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back at the base. So we have just made our way all the way down with our row of slip stitches and now we're going to slip stitch it into the base. So once when we get here, we're going to be slip stitching into that next available stitch that we have into the base, yarn over, pull through everything. And now this row is all closed up and to go into the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next stitch, flip our work. And then we're going to go into that first stitch that we have with a back loop slip stitch. So insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through. And then for the rest of the cuff, we're going to be going in with back loop slip stitches. Once we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it on back down with more back loop slip stitches. And we're going to be connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And then I'll meet you guys back once we don't have any more stitches left to go into so that we can seam it up together. All right, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with our cuff and we are now going to start off the seam together. It's going to be the same thing. Just want to make sure that all of our seams are facing the same direction. And then since our hook is already in through one of the corners, we're going to insert our hook into the other corner that we have, yarn over and pull through everything. And just to get this started off together, we're going to insert our hook into the next available loop into the front panel, next available loop into the back panel, and then single crochet. And we're just going to keep doing that going all the way down. Once we make it down to the end, do a chain up of one and cut. And then we are going to do the same exact thing that we just did for the entirety of our sleeve, plus this little seam thing that we did over here on the other side. And now that we are back, we have just finished up going in with both of our sleeves. We are all done. And the last thing we're going to do is just weave in all of our ends. We've woven in our ends and this is our finished jumper. This piece was a lot of fun to make. I haven't made anything oversized in a while, so it was really good to revisit. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCD DIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by submitting any questions for a frequently asked questions video we'll be doing soon. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this piece, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. <laughs> and be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always guys, thank you so so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one.